Hello, we're going to Chain Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Mars Express and this new futuristic sci-fi animated film from writer-director Jeremy Perrin focuses on this murder investigation on 23rd century Mars as we see this human investigator, Elaine, played by Leah Drucker, and her connection with this android played by uh, Daniel Joe Lobey. And you have this dynamic between these two, this kind of like buddy cop investigation as they work together. But what's so impressive is what this film's able to do with a pretty familiar setup. You know, we have procedural dramas all the time now. There's like 50 of them going on at a single time where you see a partnership between two investigators. But what's so impressive about this film is, one, the animation. It has a sleek, like, shell-shaded look to it. It has very rich and bold uses of color. The red, the oranges, the yellows that really spark in this futuristic world. And this futuristic world is bold and sleek and interesting and engaging to look at. You have all of these different kinds of androids and robots that have such distinct and interesting designs. The little details of how this new world and its neon beauty and its design looks so familiar enough where it's like, we can see this as our future, but dynamic enough to really leverage this futuristic feel. This duo at the center each have their own very relatable and humanistic challenges and urges and journeys that they go on, even though one of them obviously is not human. But I think that's what's so dynamic about this film as it explores what really makes us human. And there's the subtleties of, you know, in this investigation where one of the robots, these androids is getting away and falls into an anti-robotics, artificial intelligence uh, protest and then starts being attacked. And like those moments really opening your eyes to like how humanity will evolve along with artificial intelligence and what that reaction is going to be, how visceral it can be, how violent it can be, and the fear, which I'm a robophobe. I get it. It's very interesting and engaging how this film tackles that. And then as this film goes on, how it explores these evolutions, this need for community, this need for connection of these machines, and where that journey takes them all throughout this film. And I love how this film, in its hour and 25 minutes, really leverages the visuals and really takes you to bold places in terms of how it can manipulate its animation medium to offer something unique and interesting. It has touches of Tron, it has touches of Blade Runner, it has all of these different kinds of influences, but still offering something bold and big and dynamic in its own right. There's tension, there's thrills, it even has a interesting enough murder mystery at the core of it. It has all these elements. It might take some big swings and not everything might hit, but overall, this is still a big win and will leave you really processing a lot of interesting ideas, themes, and feelings that you're left with by the time the credits start rolling on this dynamic and beautiful film. But those are my thoughts on Mars Express. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.